Hi guys, it's Matt here from Pilot Practice Exams now. Um, another huge issue that all our NAV students have, and also the um, certificate and PPL, RPL students have as well, is to do with Zulu time and stand, uh, you know, Greenwich Meridian time. So the reason we have to have that, and it's very important to understand why we need this. Everybody says, oh, it's stupid, it's stupid, it's stupid. Why can't we just do local time? The problem is this. The moment you start to fly any sort of distance, okay, you're going to cross time zones, okay? So even in Australia, there's three time zones, okay? So a plane flying from Sydney to Perth is going to go through three different time zones. Now, if they reported um, based on local time, and they didn't know their exact position and where the exact timeline was, then they could be completely misreporting to one another or to um, air traffic control and things like that. So it could create this very dangerous situation. Um, the other thing is, is with weather, weather systems move across large patterns of parts of Australia. And we need to know what time they're tracking across. And we don't want to have to, like, if, for example, if you're a um, an airline pilot and you're going to fly from Sydney to Perth, you don't want to have to, you know, convert it three times to work out what time it's going to be where. You just want to know at Zulu, at Zulu time, where is this big storm cell, All right? So it makes it easier for the, the the guys that have the huge workload, which is basically the airline pilots. And us guys, um, us smaller people just have to cope with it, right? Even though 90 5% of our flying or 99% of our flying is done within one time zone. So that's the reason we have it. Now let's get into how you can quickly know how to change it. Okay, so all you this is the mental trick you need to know. And once you know this, it's it's really, really simple. Okay, so you just need to pick out what time of the day is 000 Zulu time where you live. So I live, I'm in Port Macquarie, I'm based on East Coast time or Eastern Standard time at the moment and in summer that'll be uh, daylight saving time but we at 10, we're 10 hours ahead so that means at 10 a.m. it's going to be Zulu 0000, okay, so it's going to be midnight at uh, in Greenwich, England at, at 0000 when we're 10 a.m. Now, nearly all of our flying is done in the morning. Okay, the afternoon gets a little bit uh, more difficult because we just need to add some numbers. But if we know that this 10 a.m., that's our marker, we can on easily work out where we are just relative to that. So, for example, at 8 a.m., what time Zulu is it? Well, it's two hours before our 10 o'clock, which means it's two hours before their midnight. So it's going to be 2200, right? At two hours past 10 a.m., so say at midday, 12, 12 o'clock noon in Port Macquarie slash Sydney, the East Coast, is just two hours after 0000, right? So it's going to be um, 0200, right? And as soon as you know that, now as you go into the afternoon, the numbers that you've got to add will become a little bit um, bigger. So let's go with, say, four o'clock in the afternoon, okay? So that's going to be six hours after 10 o'clock, okay, so it's six hours after their 000, so it's 0600. Now, if it's 435, it's still easy, it's just 0635. You just add the minutes on. Now, once you know that pattern, it's easy. Now, and then in summer, we have um, daylight saving time, so 11 o'clock becomes 0000, and you just got to make that adjustment. Now, if that's too difficult for you and you just don't like that, and I do this even though I know this, I, I still have this on the dash of my plane. I have a chart that has the Zulu time and the local time, okay? And the reason I do that is because often um, when I need to know that most is when um, shit's hitting the fan and you know, it's like one day I needed to know, uh, we went to fly through Coffs Harbour and we thought they were closed because um, it was quite early in the morning. And then we found out they weren't closed. And as we were approaching, he told us just before we went into the airspace, which we narrowly turned around and missed. But they're the types of moments when you suddenly need it, when you're up against a military airspace or when you're, you know, you're doing a quick a calculation because you're running out of fuel, or you're running out of daylight or you're lost or things like that. That's when it gets confusing. So even though I can work this out in my head, I have that on the dash of my plane um, because I like to know uh, if something goes bad, what to do. Now the other thing you can do is you can grab a copy of this app 
um, it's called Zulu Time or Zulu. Um, Zulu Time it's called with no space. Um, it's just a picture of an orange Z there. Uh, I'll try and get a bit closer. Um, and you can throw in your local time or if you're going to, it's going to, where this one's going to come in handy, say you're flying from Sydney to Adelaide and you're going to go across the border of central time or you've got to put in a flight plan for a long flight that's going across. This one is just going to give you a bit of peace of mind. You can quickly throw it in and double check. So hope that helps guys. If it does, please remember the only way YouTube knows to serve this up as useful content to others is if you like or comment or share this. So please do. Um, for those of you that know nothing about pilot practice exams, we've got hundreds of free questions you can come and try. And then the members who join up get access to the latest, best um, practice exams there are in Australia for RPL, RALs and PPL. So thanks for listening and head on over to pilotpracticeexams.com if you're looking for those.